Senator John McCain's brain cancer diagnosis earlier this week, sending shockwaves through Capitol Hill and the rest of the country, too. Glioblastoma is considered an incurable form of cancer, and the prognosis is not very good. But scientists and doctors are now working on a new therapy that can actually help to cure this particular kind of cancer. And joining us right now are two doctors behind that. Dr. Lindsay Rosenwald is an internist and the chairman and CEO of Fortress Biotech, which is the parent company to Mustang Bio Inc., which is where Dr. Manny Lickman is the medical oncologist and the president of Mustang. Good morning to both of you. Morning. morning. All right. So, uh, Dr. Rosenwald, when you heard that John McCain had this particular form of cancer, what did you think? Obviously very sad. It's a very difficult disease. Uh, when we heard about it, you know, you look at it, he got it early. It's a very small lesion that they found. Unfortunately, even small lesions don't usually end up well. So we were nervous and thought maybe a therapy like this might be beneficial. From what I understand, uh, they can, you can remove the, the cancer, but because it's got so many tentacles, essentially, it keeps coming back. That's, that's the challenge, right? Right. right. Maybe Dr. Lichman could fill Tell you. us about your therapy that you guys are working on. Sure. So the therapy is um, personalized therapy. Um, the patient's white blood cells are removed from their body. They are re-engineered uh, to produce a particular protein. And that protein allows the T cells, which are the patient's immune cells, to home in on the cancer cells and, and destroy them, essentially. Do you think at this point this is one of the therapy options that were given to the McCain family? Because we heard uh, right now it could be chemotherapy, it could be radiation. We haven't heard about this yet, though. So the protocol that we have now with the City of Hope with uh, Dr. Steve Foreman, Dr. Christine Brown, and Dr. Benham Badi, who is the neurosurgeon, is for patients who have failed conventional therapies. So um, according to the rules of the protocol, um, the patients would not be eligible until they've already received standard of care, which is radiation therapy, surgery radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Okay, so uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Um... Uh, Manny was just talking a little bit about how you take out some white blood cells and then you re-engineer them. How do you do that? I, you know, it's, uh, it's complicated. It's very complicated. You basically are taking out the patient's infection-fighting, tumor-fighting cells. You're re-engineering them by putting uh, uh, DNA in it, putting it back into the patient. In the case of this therapy, you're actually putting it directly into the brain. You're not putting it into the blood, you're putting it directly into the brain so it gets closer to the brain cancer cells and attacks it there. And then, doctor, because they're the white blood cells, I mean, those are in your body to help uh, make things better anyway, that makes perfect sense to piggyback on what they were going to do in the first place. Yes, absolutely. And this is the first time that this therapy has been given into the ventricular system, which is a fluid system that bathes the brain in the spinal cord. And so the remarkable results that we saw that were published by the City of Hope in the New England Journal of Medicine in December showed that there was disappearance of all tumor sites in the brain as well as in the spinal cord, distant from where the infusion took place. And it's safe to say that, it, and there you look at uh, some of the before and after images of uh, brain matter, uh, it's safe to say that pretty much all the cancers that we know of these days are, you're, people are looking at this particular kind of therapy to take uh, the patient's own portions of the body, essentially the blood cells, reprogram them, fix them, and then shoot them back in to cure them. Right. There's a whole class, uh, emerging class of immunotherapy, where, where the, the holy grail now in oncology therapy is to harness the body's immune system. So when you count all the different types of drugs in clinical trials, there's 150,000 patients today on clinical trials with new sorts of mm -hmm. drugs. This one is specifically for brain cancer. You had mentioned earlier about the tentacles. The right. problem with brain cancer most solid tumors, they have tentacles, they go into the surrounding tissue. If you have it in your breast, you can take off the whole breast. Sure. If you have it in, in your lung, you could take out the whole lung. You can't take out your brain. Right. And that's why it's such a bad condition. You Absolutely. can't get all the tentacles. And so hopefully this, as, as Manny was saying, you inject it into the ventricles of the brain, which is a liquid that bathes it's the spinal fluid. Right. And, and then you theoretically can get to all the tentacles. And that's why uh, we had published in the New England Journal of Medicine a few months ago a patient that had seven lesions, big tentacles throughout the brain and spinal cord, and all of them disappeared on using this drug. I know it has not yet been uh, approved by the FDA. Are, are you, how close to uh, actually 
Oh, it all depends. Market. You know, it's in clinical trials now, and all the, you know, it's an early clinical trial. We keep raising the okay. dose. At some point, we hope to find a dose that is is very effective and and do a larger clinical trial. The FDA has been very accommodating to cancer drugs that that are effective. So we have to prove the effectiveness, and mm -hmm. that's the goal. Well, good luck with your work. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.